Well, hello, good people of YouTube. I am off to get some food with my friend Jen, who I'm pretty sure she does not want to be in the vlog. <laughs> uh, that's just my guesstimate. But anyway, we're going to have food probably at Firefly. Uh, she is a... Um, she has makeup for people on Halloween, so she's been doing that all day, and uh, she's starving, so I said I would join her for some food. Uh, anyway, so Firefly is open late and has some pretty good food. Uh, it's a tapas place, if you've ever had tapas. Um, you know what it is. If you've never had it, tapas are just little small plates. Uh, for lack of a better way of describing it, it's kind of like the whole menu is appetizers, but they've got a lot of great things like, like chorizo and clams. That's one of my favorites. Um, I'm sure they have other things too, but I tend to get the chorizo and clams each time. I had it for the first time, I think, when I was, uh, my friend Dormar had her birthday party there. So I had that and I have it every time. So cross our fingers that it's still there. Cross our fingers that it's not too busy at Firefly. Uh, because it is Halloween night uh, in Las Vegas and Firefly is close to the Strip. Uh, other options would be for late night dining um, near the Strip. Uh, you got Grand Lux, which is at the Venetian at the Palazzo. Uh, it's pretty good. And you also have Pepper Mill. That is uh, a good spot to go to. It's like an old Las Vegas haunt, if you will. They have a really cool lounge in there called the Fireside Lounge. Uh, there's a Kind of a fireplace in the middle of it with water in it, so it's kind of trippy because I think it's lit up with gas that bubbles up from the water. Anyway, I've gotten a kick out of seeing everybody's post today of uh, their Halloween adventures. I mentioned this today on the blog or on my Facebook page. I'm pretty much all Halloweened out after doing Disneyland, Not Scary Farm, Fright Dome, and the Freakling Brothers um, haunted houses. That's a lot of Halloween. So I like to get it all out of the way before uh, Halloween actually arrives because on Halloween night, especially now on a Saturday, those lines and everything, it's just going to be packed. So I want to enjoy it, not have to stand in two hour lines like some of my friends had to do. Um, and some of my friends went to Freakling Brothers today or this evening and it was so cool seeing their posts and saying how they freaked out and uh, they didn't know they, if they could take it, but they then they you know, went through it okay, saying that people peed their pants <laughs> in the haunted house. I don't know. I mean, things, it was pretty intense, but I'm going to piss my pants. Jeez. So anyway, that's, that was my day. Just enjoying, just vicariously enjoying everything else everybody else was doing. So anyway, going to uh, Firefly right now. I just realized I said anyway, a couple of times in a row. And uh, maybe while I'm there, I'll show you what I'm eating. Because that's what you do with social media. You show people your food. So we're here at Firefly. Like I said, Jen's not gonna be a one, gonna wanna be on it, so. But it's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty cool atmosphere. You can see all the lights behind me. We're out on the patio. It's not very busy. I thought it would be really busy tonight, but nope. I guess everybody's out doing Halloween stuff. Just like sluts. And Just like tonight. sluts. <laughs> but like I told you, she does body painting, so she was all day just telling me all the stories about the cool stuff she did. So, um, and I'll show you the food that we have. So these are the firefly fries. Say that ten times fast. And these are these are dates, stuffed dates, which I will not be eating. Jen can have all those. Yum. Well. As Jen and I always do, we got to talking and I didn't have enough time to uh, do more vlogging. But um, we had, what do we have? I guess, I think she had bacon wrapped dates. We had what's called firefly fries. Uh, had the uh, chorizo and clams and the stuffed mushrooms that were good too. 
and I showed you some video of that, but not video of everything. But like I said, we got to talking and we get engrossed in our conversation. And we talk about everything, which is awesome. I like people like that. I like when conversations just flow. Um, I'm not really a big fan of when you're having a conversation with somebody. If you ever feel the need to say, so what should we talk about now? That is a, <laughs> that's not a good, that's not a good situation. That means that you have really not a lot in common or maybe you do have a lot in common, but you're having a conversation with somebody that uh, is in, incapable of carrying on a conversation. Maybe that's the best way to put it. They, they don't know how to, um, yeah, just keep the conversation going. And that's important to me. I, th I mean, I like that in all my friends that I spend time with. Because uh, I don't want to feel like I'm the only one talking or carrying the conversation or trying to pull out of them something. And you know, sometimes I feel like I'm just the one talking. I, I almost have to say sometimes, hey, uh, if I'm talking too much, please let me know. And you might be saying that right now to yourself. He is talking way too much. So, but anyway, it's my vlog and I will talk if I want to. Um, but it was a fun day regardless. It's Halloween 2015 and uh, really I got to hang out with uh, one of my awesome good friends and uh, have some good food and what more could you ask for really? I don't have kids, uh, so there no trick or treating uh, occurred, and uh, I didn't go to a party. Um, in years past, I've I've worked on Halloween, um, whether it was doing a photo shoot in a nightclub or I don't know, working some other job, uh, especially here in Vegas where you have. Uh, You've got jobs that require you to work on the weekend simply because the nature of the industry is tourist and tourists come to Las Vegas on the weekend but I don't know if I had mentioned this on a previous blog blog um, but where I work now I have a normal schedule which is kind of cool I have it's Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 I have Saturday and Sunday off and with our company, we have typical days off. You know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Fourth of July, these types of holidays we have off. Where, again, in Las Vegas, or any tourist destination, I would imagine, uh, you don't typically get those days off. Why? Because like weekends, that is when people come here, is on the holiday. So, it's interesting. I've never had it before. And I kind of dig it. Because today is Saturday. I had Friday night, technically off, all of Saturday, all of Sunday, and I'll go back to work Monday. So, that's the vlog for today. Not very long, not too much going on, but fun anyway. And I'm glad you were able to watch it. Thanks, and have a great night. Bye.